coming off of the Hunger Games, what were you sort of looking for in projects, scripts, and, and projects to be a part of? And then what was it about this film that really spoke to you? Well, you know, um, sometimes the circumstances, they dictate your life more than, um, more than you do. So I, you know, a lot of the stuff coming off of Hunger Games, um, it, it was stuff falling in my lap, and, and thankfully it was falling in my lap uh, at the right time. I, I was intrigued by this because of this sort of an artist struggling with being a, a family man as well as being an artist. Like, what did he have to choose between the two? I had a small struggle with it, much less dramatic than Daniel's, or much less harder, or much less difficult than Daniel's. Uh, when I knew I was going to be a father, but I chose quickly, I, I chose to be a good dad, and if my art struggles, so be it. But what I found in being a dad is that it actually gives me more tools. As an actor, this this boy, you know, who he is, it's given me so much more and it's filled me with so much life that that gives me, I don't know, the energy to sort of be a better artist. Uh, well, tell me about working with Frank Langella, because, I mean, that just must be a great experience. Yeah, that's an, that, that's amazing. I, you know, Frank came on after I had come on, and I was so happy to see that he'd be playing the role. I've had great respect for him my, my whole life, even before I knew I wanted to be um, an actor, and uh, I was just so thrilled he took it. and. Um, and it was everything I thought it would be. I, 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 we had a great time together working. We, he had his house was set up right beside the mansion that we shot at for Warner's house, and I would come a little bit early so that I could hang out with Frank, and he'd cook some eggs, and we'd run the lines, and uh, we'd talk a bit about the project, but then we'd just talk about life, and we really connected in a lot of ways. I, we, whether we were similar or not, that I'll know, but we just we really connect and. Um, carried that over into the, the piece because I think Daniel had a certain respect for Warner even before he knew who he was and um, and, and Frank's just an amazing guy and he, he just raises the quality of anything he does and he really brought our, our quality up. All Daniel knows about Warner from the beginning of the, um, his connection with him is that he's he's bought one painting of his and he's the only person who bought it out of a show. He's a wealthy man and he thinks he might get a commission out of this and uh, would help save um, him financially and save his family. Um, but he quickly finds out that he's not, he's not there, he's not going to get a commission, he's going to get these oddball jobs. And it's irritating to Daniel. He's an irritating man to Daniel, but he's also intriguing because of the situation that he's in, living up in a mansion in Bishop, and uh, who is this man, and, and why, is he, why, why is he tearing apart my art? Why is he trying to tear me apart? And when he finds out who he is later, it's sort of like looking into the future for Daniel, looking into like, you know, in this big struggle he's having in life between what he sees is between his family and his art, um, he's seeing the result of one of those choices. And it's not, it's not anything like what he thought it would look like. What is it that you're looking for from a director as an actor when, when you're working on a project? You know, I'm not looking for anything in particular with a director. I think the most important thing, what a lot of people say, is they have to have a vision for their piece, you know. But it's so easy to just say you have a vision, and it's so easy to say, I want it to look this way or that way, but you you have to have a trust that they can actually do it or, or a way to do it. So I, I always ask how they, how are you going to do it, how are you going to shoot it, what, you know, what colors do you like, what, um, um, you know, if I haven't seen anything of theirs before, they, or if they have nothing before, like the nod. Uh, you kind of have to just ask the right questions, and I've done it long enough to know what to ask, which is basically, what do you want it to look like? What is the feeling you want to get from this? Right now, what do you want? And then I had all those answers, and you know, his big, the answer that struck me the deepest um, was that he wanted a lot of the frames to look like paintings. Mm. And you know, that was a very clear vision, and he had the right DP to do it. And, um, and uh, you know, he knew the colors that he wanted to work with, everything was very specific in that way. Um, and you know, we, we and we had an idea of what the character wanted to what he wanted the character to be, and all the characters to be, and the connections to be. You know, having all those answers makes you want to work with somebody, um, and then knowing how to do it or how they think they want to achieve it. And he had all of that, and um, I think he achieved exactly what he wanted. With a bigger film like Hunger Games or Ghost Rider, you have um, 
a trailer to go back to, and there, you know, there's a big spread of food. <laughs> there, but the, the, the biggest difference is there's a lot of time to shoot scenes. So sometimes if you have a very complicated scene, you might shoot that over a couple days. Right. Um, just one scene. Um, and they can cover it in every way possible. So you feel like you're covered and you've covered it emotionally and all that. With a smaller film, you don't have that luxury. You may be shooting three or four scenes in a day, seven or eight pages, which is a lot in film. And um, and especially if you're covering a whole arc of an entire film, you've really got to stay on top of it. Um, so I, I kind of like that. It's invigorating to have that um, that speed of work because you've really got to stay sharp. And I, I work better under pressure. But um, I also enjoy more not having a place to go back to. I, I say that I do enjoy finding my own solitude for a bit. You need to as an actor. You need to disconnect yourself in a way uh, from the other work that's going on in the film. But in a way, I also really feed off of the energy of the crew, and I like to be a part of it. I like to be there near the camera and know what's going on and learning as I go. And, um, and uh, I'm only able to do that with those kind of films. The bigger ones, you feel like you're getting in the way a little bit because there's so much happening. Right. And there's so much pressure um, uh, on the people near that that you kind of you kind of have to step back a little bit and get out of the way and go back to your trailer and eat the food <laughs> <laughs> you know all which is nice too